Here are the stories making news at this hour. I'm Marissa Bailey. Former CIA Director John Brennan penned an op-ed in the New York Times where he said President Trump revoked his security clearance to distract Americans from special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation. Mola Lenghi has that story. White House Secretary Sarah Sanders said the president's decision to revoke former CIA Director John Brennan's security clearance was made for national security reasons. The president has a constitutional responsibility to protect class classified information and who has access to it. Um, and that's what he's doing is fulfilling that responsibility. But shortly after the announcement, President Trump told The Wall Street Journal he holds Brennan and several others responsible for Robert Mueller's Russia investigation. I call it the rigged witch hunt. It is a sham and these people let it. So I think it's something that had to be done. I've seen this type of behavior and actions on the part of foreign tyrants and despots. I never, ever thought that I would see it here in the United States. In the New York Times op-ed, Brennan also pinned the decision on the Mueller probe, saying Mr. Trump clearly has become more desperate to protect himself and those close to him, which is why he made the politically motivated decision to revoke my security clearance in an attempt to scare and to silence others who might dare to challenge him. Fran Townsend, former national security advisor for President George W. Bush, told CBS this morning that the same presidential powers used to revoke Brennan's security clearance could be used to shut down the Mueller investigation. If the president is relying on his Article II powers to remove a clearance, it's the same power he'd rely on if he wanted, for example, to fire Mueller. Mueller's team is still negotiating with the president's lawyers to see if he will sit down for an interview. Mola Lenghi, CBS News. The White House. And the meteorologist Megan Glaro is here now with a look at your Thursday forecast. Hey everybody, I'm meteorologist Megan Glaros. Here's what we're up against today. Once again, a chance of showers and storms in the forecast. We're looking for 82 degrees for the high temperature out there on our Thursday. Your Friday, 83, so we trend up a little bit. Still a chance of rain, so today, tomorrow, you need the umbrella. Definitely. Just keep it with you. Even It's not going to be a total day washout, but even if you don't need it all day, you'll have it when you do. By Saturday, you can leave it at home. The good news is, it's not just Saturday. It's Saturday and Sunday. We'll bookend End the weekend with rain, but your Saturday and Sunday are almost perfect by summer standards. Good news because it's also the air and water show. We'll keep you posted, of course. Have a good one, guys.